What's going on, y'all? It's Sam Stidwell, the walk-on coach. Uh, lately, I've been getting some questions about gaining weight from people with high metabolism or other obstacles. And um, I'm not a certified trainer or doctor, but I'm gonna give you some advice from my personal experience. So it was the summer of 2016, and I had just reported to second um, summer session, right, for camp. And uh, I was 185 pounds. Um, and I was very determined to gain weight. I wanted to at least be 200 pounds, right? I was a running back at 185 in college, man. It was time to, time to put some thickness to it. But, um, so I asked one of my coaches, I said, uh, um, what can I do or what can you tell me to do so I can gain weight through this summer camp? And at a and we did so much running. It was like a track team. I think it was ridiculous. But, um, and, and when I asked the coach, he even told me himself, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you know, it's going to be hard. It's, it's almost going to be impossible to do that with all this running. Um, you might be able to get more ripped though. And, um, that was basically his advice and it wasn't malicious or nothing, but it was just honest. But for me, I'm so stubborn. You know what I'm saying? I put my mind to it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the idea that I'm gaining weight this summer. Um, so the way I was able to do that is by doing a 4,000 calorie diet. And I learned that from bodybuilders, listening to bodybuilders. I was a stronger dude and I loved to lift weights. So I ran across some bodybuilders on YouTube, started listening to them talking about how to gain weight, right? So I did the 4,000 calorie diet. So long story short, after that second summer session, I went from 185 to 193 and for those who some of y'all may be like man that ain't that's nothing seven pounds is nothing but for those with high metabolism you know that's a big leap and you can see it i you can see it yourself and other people can see that that you gain weight so some quick tips about that 4,000 calorie diet um we ate in the cafeteria we didn't have a nutrition plan um but basically in the cafeteria they had little uh nutrition slips on each item um and i just was counting the calories now most of that you want to get protein and carbs and things you know things like cake and sugars in, are included in that 4,000 calories but you want to have that as like the the minimal part of your your diet right because you want to build muscle mass so you want high protein you want energy so you want carbs and carbs are also be one of the main reasons why you gain weight period um so that's how i was able to do it um two key things that i would recommend is a high calorie uh higher protein protein powder um so for our school our football team we use muscle milk as a team um muscle milk is good i like muscle milk However, there are more, uh, there are other proteins with more protein and more calories per serving. And that, that might be what you wanna use if you have high metabolism, right? Um, and also, you know, during this whole time, I'm, I'm in the cafeteria stuffing myself. You know, sometimes I'm gagging every time I was bloated after I uh, finished eating. Um, so one of the things I was doing was my fourth meal, cause I divided the 4,000 calories in about four meals. The fourth meal was always peanut butter, right? I didn't like peanut butter, um, but I knew it was one of the things that had the protein and it would help me gain weight, right? So midnight, I'm in the room, you know, gagging, um, trying to swallow this peanut butter um, and gain weight. Sometimes I had to mix in some cereal with the peanut butter, put some honey in there, just different ways to get it down. So if you're determined to gain this weight, you might end up eating some things that you don't want to eat. But those are two major things that help me out, the protein and the peanut butter. But ultimately, um, you heard from me, and now I recommend you go do your own research. Listen, listen to bodybuilders like I did, um, spe especially for females. Like, um, there's gonna be a different calorie intake, like maybe 2,500 to 3,000 calories for females, female athletes that are trying to gain weight versus the 4,000 calories I talked about that are mainly for males, right? Um, so go do your own research and 
you're gonna have to be creative because you know bodybuilders they cook for themselves they uh, meal prep and depending on your situation whether you're in college or you know saying don't have any money you're going to have to find creative ways to still get those calories in um, and there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to do that too um, so that's what I would recommend at the end of the day is to do your own research um, it can be done anybody that's telling you it can't be done disregard that and, and get it done do your research and get it done but hopefully I helped y'all out a little bit um, once again, you can find me on Instagram at T-O-B-E underscore great. That's to be great. Some people always call it to be great, but it's to be great. Um, and um, feel free to hit me up on there if you have any more questions. Um, thank y'all for watching.